So here we have the Hyundai Tucson on a 19 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the back of the car you'll see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat and then underneath this tray section a space saver spare wheel. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and on the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see the total miles for this car, which are 2,250. You can change the information that's displayed above that using a button on the steering wheel for various different bits of trip computer information. You can also have that digital readout for the speedometer and there are other menus available. Satellite navigation, uh, your tire pressure menu, uh, user settings and background to the beginning again. And the buttons I was using to do that are just here. We've also got cruise control and speed limiter over that side as well. On the left hand side we have stereo controls through the middle, the ability to answer and end phone calls and we have voice activation for the phone. Hit that button. Ask it to dial anyone in your contacts list and it'll do that for you without you having to take your phone from your bag or pocket. That is, of course, once you paired it up and that is done over on the touch screen in the center just here. Uh, if you go to all menus and then hit the phone icon up in the top left, just follow instructions on screen from there. When it comes to music in this car, firstly, we have the radio. We have DAB, FM and AM radio available to us. Uh, if you want to listen to your own music, you can press the media button. Nothing is connected at the moment. As you can see, it's uh, telling us up there. Uh, you can just go back to the home screen. Uh, and at the home screen, you can see the media tab, which is greyed out because we haven't got anything input or in connected. Uh, but you can connect up an auxiliary device, a USB device. You can also stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio. And you can see this car's also got Android Auto and Apple CarPlay as well. Uh, so I say plenty of ways to listen to your music. We've also got satellite navigation, which you probably saw uh, back on the main home screen just here. You can either access it that way or you can press nav or map. There's a full video showing how this works on both our website and also on our YouTube channel as well. Working our way down from there, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger and driver temperatures, the fan speed up and down. You can determine what way you'd like the air to be distributed with these buttons just here. And when you're happy with those settings, you can turn the air conditioning on or off. It's on at the moment, so off or back on again. When it's on, you can either leave it like this or you can press auto and the car will continuously work in the background to maintain that temperature for you. And you can hear it adjusting the fan speed now. So override it, just readjust the fans to whatever level you want them on, put it back whatever setting you wish to have it on there. Underneath that, we have two 12 volt charging sockets as well as the auxiliary and USB inputs. We have a six speed manual gearbox. And then these buttons just here, this one turns off the parking sensors this one turns off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. I've just turned that system off by hitting that button. These two, I'll show you up on here. So the first of those will turn downhill brake control on, which is useful if you're going to take the car off road. The button above that will put the steering mode in sport or normal. And then lastly, back over into the center again, as I forgot to mention this, we have a full color reversing camera. And you can see it has guidelines showing you what direction the car is headed in in relation to the image you see on your screen. So if I turn the wheel, you'll now see that it's showing us that we are going in that direction and the blue line indicates what it would be to go straight on so you know when your wheels are straight again. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and have a test drive of the car and see it for yourself in person, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.